uh, everything is, okay, okay, everything is trying to set up, trying to get these cameras together, trying to get these, all of it. It ain't doing it. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. This is the last one. I'm almost done. Okay. Well, I think I'm considered as done. I got everybody attention. Everybody is on here, y'all. Hey, you guys. Happy. I got still have my bag on. I didn't... just got back from the grocery store. But anyway. Um. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hey, you guys. Uh, happy October the 1st, y'all. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, I want to... Uh I want to give all thanks to God for the ones that survived the breast cancer, y'all. You know, I know y'all are giving all honor to God up above or whatever. And the, those those ones that lost the fight, you know, um, pray for those, y'all, and keep them in y'all prayer. Y'all, again, thank y'all. Like I told y'all, today is October the 1st. Um, it is a new month. Um, uh, Oh my God, I'm glad to be here. And I want to thank all of my supporters, all of my supporters for having Charles and I back this weekend and this month and last month, last year. We want to thank y'all so much for having our back. We know, we know, we know that we have genuine people out there that love us. We, we, we honestly, we honestly know that, okay? And we want to let y'all know that we know that and that we love y'all too. And uh, I, one little thing that I want to say um, on this social media site, what I want to say is that um, can't no man or no woman, are y'all listening to me? Can't no man or no woman take nothing that God has for you. back i'm sorry but i'm sorry well, i was interrupted but i'll give them a call back in a minute but you guys there is nothing that no man or no woman takes what god gave to you that's just impossible so can't nobody take nothing that god gave to you but who god so can't nobody take nothing that god gave to me okay i just wanted to say that amen that's all I just want to say. I just want to say that part. I'm gonna leave it alone, and I'm gonna fry these pork chops with Miss Netta, Miss with Mrs. Netta. Clucking chicken season, Mrs. Netta season. Charles, your lunch is ready. That part, my seasoning. I am finna fry some pork chops again, and again, I would like to say. Thank you, guys. I see a lot of people have received their seasoning, so they know that it was not a fraud. I wasn't stealing any money, which a lot of people know that that wasn't going on because I've been had this plan. But a lot of people have done received their seasonings. Y'all, if your seasoning have ca haven't came yet, give it another day or so. All seasons have been pushed out and mailed. Um, thank y'all so much for the wonderful reviews that y'all have gave. I have seen a couple of reviews out there. Thank y'all so much for the reviews. Y'all make sure y'all go to um, Mrs. Netta Charles dot com to the website get y'all seasons can't nobody tell y'all how the seasonings taste you gotta try them out y'all self even though i done got some good reviews and i done got you know a couple of you know other reviews it doesn't matter we're not gonna focus on that but what i can say to y'all if every one last one of us have different taste buds so we all not gonna all like the same so don't don't feed off what another person tell you about the season. Go and get it and try it out yourself. That's the only thing I can do. It's out there. It's available. It's waiting for you to uh, order it. It's waiting to hit your kitchen. It's waiting to hit your meat for you to taste it, okay? I know I use it every day. I, I use nothing but my seasons because it's my blend. So I don't have to use anything else in my cabinet because I got it, everything in here. And um, 
Thank y'all again for the support. Thank y'all. I did not believe that I was going to get. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I did not believe I was going to get so many orders that I got. And that's what makes me see that a lot of people support Charles and I. We got a lot of supporters. And some people just bought the, the seasonings to be funny. It's fine. It's good. Thank you so much for the purchase of the seasonings, y'all. Thank y'all so much. I promise y'all I'm doing better. I promise y'all... Um, I promise y'all a lot of joy and fun and happiness that's going on that's going to be belong that's going to be dealing with this page cuz all this other stuff drama and all this addressing and all that other stuff I could address you in a way to to just let it go. I can do that. I have that right to do that. I can address you, and but I'm not going to stick to a subject or something that's going on that's not just true or whatever the fact may be. I'm not going to entertain that. I just let y'all know what y'all can take it how y'all want to take it. What I just said, those smart ones will get it. Okay, those smart, those very smart people out there is going to get it and they're going to understand what I had said. I don't have to worry about trying to repeat this ever again. But like I told y'all, baby, there's no man or no woman can take anything God gave to you. Okay, and don't never let nobody think that. Don't y'all people out here coming from Miss Netta, don't, no, don't let nobody ever make you think that something can be taken from you that God gave to you, because it can't. Only person can take it from you is the man up above, okay? That's all I can say. The man up above got control of everything, and there's no other person that can do it, unless they come and they try to remove you in other ways, which, you know, God is still telling you, baby, if it ain't the time, there is not, it's not the time. Though so God's told me that it's not the time, it's my time to shine. And that's what I'm doing. So, is this grief hot yet? No, it ain't hot. But I am here and I'm about to get ready to cook my husband, Charles, himself, his lunch. Slash dinner, because it's going to be over into dinner as well, too. And what we having today is we having fried pork chops, uh, broccoli, and mashed potatoes. That's what we having today. Oh, yeah, I forgot one thing. And honey butter crescent rolls. <laughs> Y'all thought I left that out? Not at all. Honey butter crescent rolls as well, too. But, yes. But I just wanted to let y'all know all that. And I'm waiting on this grease to get hot so I can fry this uh, pork chop and stuff. And I'm going to use my clucking chicken to fry it with. You know, pork, I don't got no pork season or whatever. I got beef. But I'm going to use it. I was going to use the all-purpose. But, um, you know, I'm going to use the chicken, okay? I'm going to use the chicken season. But y'all, make sure y'all go into the website and make sure y'all order y'all seasonings. It's uh, Mrs. Netta. Charles.com. They out there, y'all. But um, let me put this grease on. But um, all right. So why the grease is getting hot? I'm still sitting having a conversation with you guys, and um, everything has been going well for Charles and I. We had a good weekend. Um, we didn't go anywhere this weekend. No, we didn't go anywhere. We still working on this major project and this major project has us so tied up. Well, we barely have time to make a video. That's why I've been putting old videos out. I've been putting a lot of old videos out because we're not really having enough time to make a video. This project that we got going on taking time because we want it. The right way, the right look, everything. Y'all, I go, I'm going to do a layout for my seasonings um, next week. I'm going to have a commercial done. I got all types of stuff that we got going on, you know. So we just not sitting here, just not doing nothing. We actually working, working from home. And um, that's just my dream. That was, that's what I wanted all the time in life. I want to be able to sit at home and work and make my money, you know, with no bosses, nobody telling you, reaching down your throat, telling you what you can and cannot do or whatever. I love that. And that's what I try to tell a lot of things. And you guys, if you don't like to work for no one else, if you don't like to be working up under nobody, nobody to boss you around and stuff, then you try to do what you got to do to get your own business and you run your own thing and you be your own boss. Because I got tired of that. 
Oh, you late for work. Okay, now I don't have to clock in. I go on this thing whenever I want to. I don't got to take no rules, no orders from nobody. Oh, you go home if you don't feel it today. I don't have to do none of that because I'm, I'm my own boss. And that's what I be trying to tell y'all. It's not so hard to do. And it's also not so easy to do as well. So it's not easy and it's not hard. But it's just a challenge. And you just got to go out there and you just got to jump. You just got to, that's what I tell a lot of people. People, when you know when you're going swimming and stuff, you know the water is going to be what? Cold. So you just sitting there on the, on the side like, oh, I'm going to get in there. 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 That's how some of this works out. That's how life works. You just study, just you, just trying to get in it and trying to, you know, but you're scared to get in because you don't know what you got, what's going to go on or what's going to happen. So you just still just, you know, trying to get yourself to jump in this water, to jump in this world, to jump in what's going on. And then you finally get the nerve and the courage after a long time. Because none of us usually just go right and just dive on in. We sit and we play around the side of the pool before we jump in. So what y'all got to do is you got to just go and jump for it. Just like you jump and those people jump in the swim pool and be like, oh, that's what you do. Just go jump for it. Just go do it. You got to do it because if you don't do it, you'll never know if you're going to succeed or not. If you just got to try. Just try. And it might not be what you like and it might not be what you want. But by you trying and say, well, at least I did try it. And that's what I tell a lot of things when people with food and all that other stuff is that you never can't say you don't like something unless you try it. Are y'all getting what I'm saying? Are y'all getting what I'm saying? You can never say you don't like something unless you try it. Okay? So those of y'all don't know where I'm coming from, I'm, I'm talking about me personally, myself. You can never judge me and say you don't like me if you don't know me. You know, and that's what the thing about it. People, you know of me. Nobody knows me. My husband do. He knows me. He's supposed to know me because he's here all the time. My family, they knows me. You know, they know me. They'll be around me all the time. You know, my friend, she knows me. She don't be around me all the time, but we be together. We talk on the telephone all the time. You know, so stop judging people for what you see. They got going on and judge them for what you know. That's the part. That's the problem everybody doing about me. Everybody judging me of what they see me or how I act or how I talk or how I do whatever on social media. But me in person, I'm a totally different person. Totally. I know how to sit and hold a conversation. I know how to sit and I know how to be nice and respectful. I know how to do all of that. All of the above that people don't think I know how to do because I get on here and I act the fool and make y'all laugh and whatever the fact may be. I get on here and I do whatever I want to do and do this because this is what I get paid for. So this is what I'm doing to make y'all happy. The drama. I did that for, for y'all happiness. Y'all loved it. Yeah, that part of me, y'all loved. The drama me, y'all absolutely loved it. But my real fans, they hated it. And so that's who I'm here to support. I'm here to support my real people. I want to do what my fans, my people want me to do. Whatever they say they like for me to do or this is what they like seeing me to do, then I want to do that to satisfy them. Those people that want this other stuff going on with fussing and arguing and going back and forth and all that other stuff, that's not me. That's not my character. That's why I don't feed into all of it. People got on this app and they start judging me wrong from the beginning. Let me give y'all a little story. When I first started social media, nobody too much knows about my first start because a lot of y'all followers just coming on here and just started watching me now. Nobody really too much knows that I've been doing social media and on these website things ever since 2021. You know, I first came out on social media on Facebook, not getting paid in 2020. Was it 20? 2020, the end of 2020, that's when I hit social media. When I first hit social media, I came out, I was not getting paid. I was just on here. I was trying to build my way of getting paid. You know, like everybody else trying to do. I, I, you got to start from the bottom and you got to go from the top. 2020, I fought hard on social media to get where I am. 
I started off with telephone pranks. If y'all would know, uh, in 2020, in 2021, the beginning of 2021, I started off doing telephone pranks only. That's how I built my fan base up. Getting on here, making telephone prank calls. What I would do is, you would call me or inbox me when I had my inbox open. <laughs> You would inbox me and say, hey, Miss Netta, my name is Susie. Um, I want to play. I want you to play a prank on my boyfriend. And she'll be like, okay. And I'm like, okay, what is your boyfriend name? My boyfriend name is such and such. My boyfriend drives this. My boyfriend work at this place. My boyfriend hang at this spot. My boyfriend hang with this is such and such. And they would give me all the information that I need to make this prank realistic and that's the thing about everybody was about me my pranks was real my pranks was not staged i didn't say was hey ashley i'm gonna call you and i want you to act like that you know we talking back and forth on the phone that you don't know who i am i didn't do that i had real people and if y'all go watch them at the end of my prank i would tell them i say uh when i get to like hey hey hey, hey calm down because i'm gonna cuss me out someone be breathing hard someone i mean it was terrible it was hilarious it was so funny though but at the end of the call, I would let these people know who I am. And guess what? They were laughing off. I would beat such and such up. They know they didn't do that. It was, for, it was for laughter. It was for fun. But a lot of people looked at it. A lot of people talked about me. Oh, Miss Netta, you're going to get killed. Oh, Miss Netta, we don't like you calling people house. Oh, Miss Netta, you need to grow up. Oh, Miss Netta, you fat. Oh, Miss Netta, you ugly. You know, they did all of that in 2020 and 21. Okay? So I said, okay, well, let me switch it up a little bit. Let me start going to people's houses, meeting people in stores and stuff like that, paying random people and stuff to do skits and stuff with me, you know, or whatever. I come to their house and I'm looking for Charles, which is my husband. So I did that for 2000, the beginning of 2021 to 2023. I did skits. I did. I went to people's houses, like looking for my husband. Uh, I did the grocery stores, act like I was stealing. I did Halloween things. I did all types of stuff. I did. Um, um, what was that holiday? <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. I dressed up like a like a uh, like a. Uh, Damn, I forgot what it was. But anyway, I did a whole bunch of stuff, a leprechaun. I did a whole bunch of stuff within that, that year, and I had so much fun doing it. And I had so many people that was criticizing me and talking about me and all that stuff. Then it was going on, it had been going on, it had been going on. And so after that, in the end of 2023, when I became TikTok on TikTok, when I was calling Charles, your lunch is ready, and all that stuff, then that's when the world changed. They start seeing me as, okay, a housewife. First of all, I'm gonna say this right here, and I don't care what nobody say and how, how y'all said or whatever. A lot of people did not know my gender. A lot of people did not know if I was a woman or was I a man. I never said I was a woman. I never said I was a man. I never said nothing. I just said I was Miss Netta. So that was one of the things. That was one of the things that the world was hyped all up about is whether I was a woman or a man. A lot of people like, oh, yeah, that's a, you know. But a lot of people did not know. And a lot of people questioned that. And they had a lot of people watching me. Had a lot of people, a lot of things going on in life and stuff with the charge of lunch is ready. Y'all see we got management uh, at the beginning of the year. We went on tour. You know, I was in all of this stuff, I was bashed every single day. Talked about every single day. Just every day, you know. The mailman finally run. What you cutting grass? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, this ain't nothing. On the bank statement. Okay. Anyway, so I don't know. My grief got hot and everything. Oh, my card. Uh, let me go ahead and cook and talk. You know, I can do that. I can multitask. But anyway, um, that's what happened. Well, Charles, your lunch is ready. We on tour. We doing all this and we doing all If some of y'all people on here, y'all wouldn't follow me then. Y'all just probably start following me now. So y'all don't know all the stuff that I had endorsed and all the picking and all that other stuff with me and all that stuff as I was going, trying to be a person just going on with my life, just trying to live my life and just try to do the right thing. And, um, I had a lot of, you know, backlash and a lot of people were saying a lot of things, which, you know, I, I, I didn't have time to come to and, um, 
respond to none of that stuff. And, you know, I didn't have that time because I was so busy and we was out all the time doing this and doing that. And then, you know, we had a big fallout with the manager and all that other stuff. And um, we um, decided that we want to do all this stuff by ourselves. So that's what we're doing now. We're doing everything by ourselves. Uh, we do have a couple of people that help us. You know, everybody has somebody to help you because we don't, everybody don't know everything that goes on in this business. So, Charles and I is on a struggle where now we are um, trying to rebuild, well, me, I ain't going to say we, because, you know, a lot of people, oh, hey, Charles, it's you. I'm trying to rebuild my name and rebuild my brand back. So, uh, I still see that I have a lot of people that still um, follow me. I still have a lot of people that still love me and stuff. And that's the only reason that that's the only thing that keeps me going in life. I promise y'all. That's the only thing that keeps me going in life because if I uh, focus on and keep focusing on the negative things that people is doing and saying about me and keep reacting on them, then that's going to send me to a mental stage. It's something where I'm not trying to go. So that's why I get on here sometimes and maybe some days I don't even get on here. It ain't that I get on here because I'm scared or somebody done said this about me and I feel bad. That don't be my way. It just sometimes I just need that. Um, I need that break. I need that break. Because you know what? Because every time I get on social media, y'all, whether y'all believe it or not, that's the only thing I see is me. I see a little stuff with other things that other people got going on and stuff like that. I'm just not trying to say that I just take over social media, period. But y'all know that if y'all can't run. That's why some of you people are still just on here still watching because you cannot run from it. Because if you block me, then some uh, some other site that you fall in or whatever going to post something of mine and you're still going to see it. There's no way of getting oh, getting around it. You know, so I'm looking like, okay, so there's no way for these people to get around it. So I'm going to keep them entertained because my insanity is more important than anything. So I'm trying to keep these people under control and try to keep them a on a little level, but there's no way that I can take no type of control of that. So I, I, I just can't, I can't sit and, um, Thank for Debbie. I can't sit and thank for Barbara. I can't sit and thank for these people that's on here that got all this animosity and beef for me. So I just have to just say, well, okay, what I can do is I can just move forward. I can just move on. You know, I get on social media now sometimes and I see anything that got pertain my name in it or something. I don't even watch it. I used to watch it and watch everything I do. I don't even watch it. Because I don't even want to watch it if it's good, and I don't even want to watch it if it's bad. Especially if somebody send me something. Now, if somebody send me a video, I am definitely, definitely don't want to watch it. Because they sending me a video for a reason. And I get wind up, just like everybody else do, all of us creators. All of us creators out here get wind up in some type of drama and something. Because that's just what we got to deal with in life. And they know that. I know that, and y'all know that. Ain't nothing we can do nor say to change y'all mind about us because once y'all mind is made, then y'all mind is made. I don't know. But I got a lot of few people on the ship that came to me and that was talking to me and that was telling me that they did not like what I said and they did not too much, you know, too much fun to me or nothing like that. But by them having a chance to sit down and have a conversation and actually meet me and the person that I really am, then they... They, they see the real me, and they like the real me, not the Miss Netta. So Miss Netta, Miss Netta is a character. Miss Netta is not me. <laughs> I mean, she's a, Miss Netta is a character. Like me, now, I'm telling y'all I'm Miss Netta. I'm not dressed for Miss Netta, for one. Miss Netta dresses, makeup, wigs, dresses, heels. Miss Netta do all of that. Me, as a person, Joe, I don't. So... I don't know want to know if, I don't want to say if I'm giving y'all Miss Netta or Joe, but anytime I'm on this social media, I'm referred as Miss Netta. Now you see me in the street, it's totally different. And but I don't even get Joe in the street. I get everything Miss Netta, even in my hometown. It went from they calling me to now everybody just called me Miss Netta. You know. So it is what it is, y'all. I just know, I don't think I can say it's I worked hard. I work very hard. And like I keep telling y'all, this stuff that we do, our, us content creators, everybody try to make it seem like it's so easy. It's not. It's not easy. Especially the stuff that we got to go through for it. 
It's not easy. To wake up every morning, to get on your social media page, wake up every morning, get on your social media page and seeing that you've been talked about. That's not a good pill to swallow. And this has been going on ever since they, I did post this. Well, I did say I did. I don't like black women. Like I keep trying to tell y'all, I never got on here and said I did not say that. I did say it, but I didn't mean to say it. And if you see that the same video, I'm gonna get the screenshot. Uh, I got the video. I found the video on YouTube. Facebook took it down. YouTube had it. So if I want to go on my page and y'all want to review it and see it, I did say I hate all black women. I did. That's what I said. That started off there. But I also said, no, 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 no. I mean to say it like that. I said what I meant to say is that I hate all black women that hates me. That's what I said. I didn't say it again. I thought I didn't say it. I wasn't going to go through that all, ever again no more. I didn't repeat it. It's just something that just needs to be repeated sometimes because this is what got y'all up in the upbringing. Feel like that I owe y'all an apology. I to apologize to the children, the elderly people, my biggest fans and followers and stuff like that. I apologize to them. My apology was very genuine, but I'm not, not going to apologize to nobody that has sit and bashed me months and months and months and months. I just not, I'm just not. And my thing about it is, is that you apologize to me. Somebody did. Somebody did. I ain't calling no names and I ain't putting nobody out there. Nothing. Somebody did. Somebody came to apologize to me after they met Miss Nelda. Now I keep saying, you got to meet me. After they met me. Miss Nelda, I was one of those haters on your page that was talking about you all the time, bashing you. And you know what they told me? I apologize for doing that to you to make you feel a certain type of way. I'm sorry. God must have got into them or whatever, because I'm telling you, it was from God. And you know what I tell that person? Well, whatever I said to you to make you feel that way about me, whatever I said, I truly apologize to you as well, too. Apologize to me and I apologize to you. That's just how they go. But I'm not going to sit up and, and um, apologize to nobody that sit up and bash me all month. And then you say, then I say something to you and then I'm the bad person. I got to apologize. That, it, ain't go, it don't work like that. But I am, I am sorry for what I said. I am. I'm, I'm truly, I, I am sorry for what I said and how I said it from the beginning. I'm, I'm very sorry for saying that. But those ones that did to me and bash me, to you, I'm not sorry. I just can't be sorry to you. Because why am I apologizing to you? When you I'm just not going to say, well, okay, well, I'm just going to be the bigger person. I'm just going to apologize to everybody. Y'all know me and that watches me. Y'all real people that watch it, watched me this year, y'all see my head. Y'all see how these people treat me. Y'all see y'all seen. And some of the people still decide to turn their back like they just didn't understand. Some people still decide to turn their back on me because of what I had said, even though they know I didn't mean it in that way. But God got my back, baby. And just like I told y'all, can nobody take nothing from you that God gave you. And guess what? I'm still here. Just like I'm saying, even though I said what I said, I still got a lot of followers, still got a lot of people that love me, people buying my seasoning, people, I'm pretty sure they're going to buy my book and stuff. I'm, they're going to do everything to support Miss Netta because they know where Miss Netta came from, okay? That's, 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 that's those people that watch me from the beginning, they know the stuff that I was getting thrown at me. I mean, y'all should, if y'all didn't see it and y'all went on it, y'all think this is unbelievable? Everybody I talk to, they be like, this is insane. I've never seen nothing like it in the world. On social media, I've never seen nothing like it. And y'all, and that's why I say that I'm an icon. Because that's iconic, okay? The whole world is talking about me and Charles. That's iconic. So if that's not iconic to you, then I don't know what, you, what, what, what are you going to say? You know, um... I don't know what to tell you, but that's iconic. The whole world is shook up on Miss Netta and Charles, whether it's good or whether it's bad. So stop telling us that we're not our icons. I never said we was a celebrity. Celebrity, we are not. We're not on TV land. We're not big rappers. We're not big movie stars. We're not. We're content creators. I call us icons. We, I can call us that. That's what we are. We are iconic. So that part.
We are that. Definitely we are that. And we are iconic because of who? You, 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 you. We're iconic because of y'all. So that's why our love spread deep with you guys. Y'all don't know what we y'all don't know what we go through. Y'all just don't know. And it looks like that nobody would never know. Never nobody would never understand. But I'm gonna get y'all to that point. Watch. Watch me. Watch. I'm going to get y'all to that point again where y'all are going to fall right back in love with Mrs. Netta. Watch. Because y'all are going to see the person that I am and the person that y'all portrayed me out to be that I'm not that person. Y'all are going to see it. And when y'all see it, I have the whole world again back on my shoulders. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. It is nothing wrong with that. I promise y'all, it is nothing wrong with y'all to love me. Nothing wrong for y'all to follow me. It's not nothing wrong with none of this stuff. I all the same. We all do all that good stuff. So, I know it. I see it within my heart. Watch me. It'll happen again. Now, I'm going to blame half of you people if my grease done burnt up because I didn't sit up and have it uh, on this in the deep fry out here frying all the time. It kind of smell it kind of weird. But my grease better not be burnt. I'm going to be mad at some of y'all. Okay? But let me put this pork chop in this grease and see what it's going to be like. Yeah, that part. <laughs> but okay. Let's, let's, let's get this fried. I talked enough. I think it's another talking enough. Y'all say it's another little talk when I'm off, and that's what I do. 